Hey Tubas, these are the Armor Crate and EXP arms. I just mounted them on there, they fit. They're just a little bit longer. They're four millimeters longer, they're just a little bit longer, they come up to like there. So, if I was a rich man, I'd just order Armor Crate and red dog bones. But, I'm not a rich man, so I'm going to make the Kronos arms dog bones fit. So I think I'm going to end up having to cut them and weld them and make them longer. I will try with a little bit of a tube to make these fit in the diff cups, but I got a feeling they're just going to be too short. I don't have any that are longer. So I'm going to end up making those longer. I wanted to show you is these are the arms. If I get that to stay out of the way. That's the stock Kronos arm, and this is the, the Armor Creighton. EXB arm. I say the other EXB arms pre uh, quite a bit thicker than the Kronos arm. This pretty much the same width here. You just gotta take out one of these plastic shims. That's the difference. And it fit right in there. The diff cup's really close to it, but it'll uh, clear itself on its own, right? That's what I figure. So yeah, the shock mounts. They're pretty much in the same spot. The sway bar link goes in pretty much the same spot. So I think that all that will work out. I don't know what these two screws are for. I don't know what those are for, but I left them pointing up because I figured they must point up. I don't really know, but... Yep, and so with this, I can go to that hole there and gain a little bit of room. That's what I'm going to do. And I might twist this out just to gain that little bit of extra if I need it. That shouldn't be a problem. I think the real problem is going to be the dog bones. They're going to be short. But I'll bring these back when I get to that point. Alright, Tubas. I had to make them four millimeters longer. They should fit now. Yeah! Let me get uh, each one of them hooked up and I'll bring it right back. My tube is, I got the axles installed. I put a little piece of tubing. This is nitro tubing. Something a little bit bigger probably would have fit a little better, but it works. A little piece of tubing on each end cup to keep them pushed in. And yeah, good to go. Because these are wider here a little bit, I took one of the shims out from the front. So all the way forward and the extra shim I took out, I used it over here on this. Because this is a little bit wider than what the stock uh, Kronos is. So in the end, it's just making this car 8 millimeters wider. So these control arms are a little bit wider. You put them on this, they come in stock in the middle hole. So you move that to the inside hole, and that gains your 4 millimeters. I guess I should probably measure that to see what that really gained me. But it looks like about 4 millimeters. Let's see what this gains us. Oh, uh, six millimeters. Well, at the end of the hole. Gained me more than enough. She's good uh, to it's go. about five. So about five, and I lost. And these are about four long, so that gives you what you need. It worked. Now it's adjustable up here, right? Can I can turn those in. Looks like I'm going to be turning those in. This is seven, seven millimeter that fits on these. Turn these in a little bit because you don't want your wheels angling funny I have to excuse the kids outside even a two autistic kids and one of them is very loud so it's going the wrong way oh it's going the right way so I just want to get the wheels on it's easier to see close enough yeah so I'm gonna put the shocks on the sway bar link on and then I bring this back as I put the wheels on yeah tube is so the magic of YouTube we're getting there I say the magic of YouTube because I've been at this for hours and all you guys are gonna see is a couple maybe a couple of minutes worth of clips 
but basically the shocks I didn't know how I thought there was just screws that went through them but now I realize that these holes up here are I'm going to hold the pins in. There's pins to hold in the shocks. And I happen to have pins, extra pins for my uh, Maximus, my DHK Maximus. And they fit in there beautifully. I have to cut them down the length and I cut a little flat spot in the end so that the screw could hit the flat spot and hold the pin in. So basically I had to make that stuff. I got to get new rear shocks. Excuse me, I'm hiccuping here. Bad. I got them on there. If any of you guys want to try this, I would basically just say get the hardware you need to connect the armor creating shocks to the the shocks to the armor creating control arms because they'll use pins. And I would say get armor creating dog bones. Or actually, if you're going to get dog, you might as well get the CVD shafts for the front, mount them on the back. I'm assuming you can do that. But I would get the, uh, the, the, the armor dog bones to fit. That way you don't have to make them longer like I did. And I don't know if they're going to be weak where I welded them. Because I just used the Flux Coil welder. But uh, it's together. Uh, what am I forgetting? I got to put the wheels on. I believe I got all those screws back in. Yeah, those screws are all back in. I think we're about, we're almost done. Get the wheels on then we can adjust which way the wheels set. The camber. I guess you call that camber by adjusting this top rod. But yeah, it's working. Now I'm a crate arms on a Kronos. Yeah, buddy. It's surprising. I thought screws held the shocks in, but it's actually pins, and that's what those holes are on top of for, for screws to hold the pins in. I guess it's a stronger way of doing it. I left them a little bit long there. This one's a little bit shorter. I might cut this one shorter. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, this Kronos is turning into a Creighton. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'll show you what it looks like when it's all together. Yeah, buddy. I'll bring you back. All right, Tubas. It's done. They're on. It worked. A lot of work, but they're on and it worked. Yeah, buddy. Let's see if I can break these suckers. You know, the good thing is, even if these break... They make aluminum control arms for the armor Creighton, so I can get aluminum control arms for it now. And it made the, the Kronos a little bit wider. Not that it needed it, I think it was really wide as it was, but a little bit wider in the back now. Four millimeters on each side. Yeah, buddy. It's pretty sweet right there. I'm happy. Yeah, buddy. That, that screw's loose. I gotta tighten that screw. Those screws like to loosen up a lot. Must be a lot of strain in that one little screw. But yeah, I'm gonna tighten that screw up and call it good. I've been at this for hours. I need to take a break. Y'all stay confident but humble, and I don't know. Hopefully, I can get my my uh, computer to work. Uh, I'm having trouble editing apps. When you edit the app, it shows the video on the bottom, but it's not showing the big picture. I don't understand. I tried a different app. And it's still doing it. So it might be in my computer. My computer works off Chrome, not Windows. So maybe that's it. I don't know. I'll figure it out. I'll get uh, these videos out to you eventually. Y'all stay confident but humble. Peace.